Sheen shot. Yeah, boy. Did you know that your tent might be the strongest item in Outward? Well, kind of. Tents come in a variety of forms in this game and each can help you in a different way. Decrease stamina costs, offer more damage, and even make you harder to spot when being stealthy. They also completely reset all your skill cooldowns, allowing you to start battle with all your most powerful attacks. Recently, I noticed that tents have an odd effect on dungeons. Caves in Outward have a select number of enemies. If you go to sleep in these dungeons, you might be woken up by one or two of these enemies. But the cave will draw them from somewhere else in the cave, rather than simply spawning new ones. In the open world, you can get bandits or other monsters to spawn in essentially at an infinite rate. Not so in caves. We can use this to our advantage, actually. You see, some of the harder dungeons in Outward are hard because of enemy placement. They might throw two enemies at you at once or have one right around a corner you can't see coming. If you enter a dungeon and sleep in a tent in an area you feel more comfortable fighting in, you can actually bring them to you and worry less about the surprise. Now, of course you don't have buffs beforehand this way, but with a good enough build it can still work. In fact, varnishes will last after you sleep. So if you apply something like blood or fire infuse and then sleep an hour, you'll wake up with that varnish still on. Another way you can use this tactic is to simply cheese an entire dungeon. Place down a bunch of traps in an area, however many you want really. Then sleep until you get woken up and walk them into the traps. Two such dungeons where this works every time is the warehouse and the voltaic hatchery. In the warehouse, there are a lot of immaculates that have either another immaculate to help them or an elemental. You need to be very careful doing this as there's one instance where three immaculates can jump you. If you don't have bombs down, they're really tough to beat. But also, if you're close enough to the entrance of the cave, you can simply leave as soon as you wake up, buff up with anything you have, and then re-enter to take on the opponents. This really does work, and once you get to a point where no enemies are attacking you at night, you can run through the entire dungeon with no issue. In the Voltaic Hatchery, you can actually get some enemies to fight each other, as the Mantis Shrimps and Lightning Golems will both go at it if they get pulled to you. Do be aware that if a dungeon has locations blocked off, this will sometimes prevent this from working. In the warehouse, you have a boss to fight. After the boss, there are three more enemies. These three will not be pulled to attack you at the front of the cave because they're blocked behind a boss. So it's kind of situational depending on the cave, but either way, it could still be very helpful. I've tried this several times now, and if you really are having that much trouble in a cave, you might be able to cheese your way through. Or if you want some good loot but don't want to run through the cave, you can pull everything to you. Because the tent resets your skills, you can also use things like Flash Onslaught to nearly insta-kill the invaders and go back to sleep. Or go take Primal Ritualist to use the totems, which would make it really easy. It's a crazy idea that I can't believe works. Again, don't try this in the open world and also don't try it in extremely small dungeons. But remember the Jade Quarry, where there's poisonous water everywhere and dinos all about? Maybe try this and get rid of everything from dry land. That's really all I have for you guys in this one. Just a neat trick that you could play around with to have some fun. If you're playing a co-op, this would be really useful as one of you could buff while the other runs around the opponents. It's another one of those weird mechanics in Outward that you can't forget once you know about it. Good luck slaying some unsuspecting monsters, and I'll catch you next time.